Hey guys, what's up? This is Rick here. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about PNG images. Uh, what are PNG images? Well, they're images that don't have a background. And if you're online and you're looking for a specific image and you can't find it without a background, well, you take that image and you cut out the background. And you're going to need a free tool to do that or a tool to do that. And today I'm going to show you one that's free. So let's get into the content right now and check it out. Okay, if you guys are new here, my name is Rick, and on this channel I talk about uh, paid marketing, I talk about free marketing, paid tools, free tools, do product reviews, um, you know, affiliate marketing type, pretty much anything that has to do with making money online. I try to do some different things. Uh, the channel is new right now, so uh, I'm going to start expanding it out and doing some of those different things like I talk about. But real quick, uh, if you guys are interested in some of those things and that's what you're into, Please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel here and uh, leaving some comments and likes on the videos if you like them. And just let me know if uh, some of the stuff that I post here does help you out. And um, that would be great to know. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and take a look at this free tool. This thing is... Uh... Bruh. All right, it's called... If I can find it here... Bruh. It is called um, Photo Scissors Background Removal click that and go on over as you can see down here I just uh, edited these three videos I was looking for some crazy looking animal type pictures and you know I found a few I decided on these three but I couldn't find them in uh, PNG so I had to go ahead and download them in JPEG form to my computer and I cut out the background so that's what that is so when you click on that let's see <clears throat> This is what it was here. I thought it was a PNG because it had these squares behind it. Usually that indicates that it's a PNG file, but um, <laughs> it wasn't. I found out it was a JPEG, and the reason I, how I found out was is I put it into my editing software, and the squares were still there. We'll go back. Okay, so we're gonna grab an image from here on the desktop, or in my uh, pictures. Uh, we don't want to do something with hair like this guy um, because you can still see the background and, and I'd pretty much have to cut off all the hair and that would look weird um, because then he would look bald. I don't know. Maybe it'd look cool. <laughs> so we're just going to take this one right here. It's quick and it's easy. I think it'll be super easy to cut the background out. All right. So what you've got here is kind of some instructions of how to do this. Basically, it's telling you right here, put your green here. To save you know the purse whatever the item is that you want to save and then put your red on the outside um, you can click next this is wrong you don't want to do it like that you don't need to fill everything in because it's way too time-consuming so this is wrong as well but you guys can check that out that'll pop up every time when you come here to uh, to use this it's kind of annoying but you know for people that don't know uh, it does help but I'm gonna go ahead and explain this a little bit as quickly as I can. This slider right here makes your dot bigger. And, you know, obviously going the other way makes it smaller. Um, I like to try to stay about that size is pretty good for the most part. You get into some smaller little areas, you know, you may wanna go ahead and downsize that to make that a little bit smaller, but, you know, this will cover pretty well. Um, it's pretty easy to work with. Then you've got your your uh, your background which is here and I'll show you that in a minute you have your zoom you have your your zoom out and you have your redo in case you make a mistake here or you have an eraser right here so hopefully we won't have to use that so let's go ahead and try the green one and 
we'll save the inside here so I'm just gonna left mouse click I'm gonna hold that left mouse button down and just drag this we just want to drag this on the inside doesn't have to be perfect but we're just gonna stay like that okay Now we're going to go up here, we're going to grab the red. Okay. So you just click once up here to switch it. But then when you want to move it, you know, around the outside or the inside, depending on which one you're using, make sure you click the left mouse button and hold it down. And we're just going to go... around all of this. I want to get fairly close but not too close. Okay. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for earlier. Try that again. That should cut out. There we go. Cool. So now we need to clean it up a little bit because you can still see some background here and down here a little bit on our arm. So I'm going to go back in here. You see that line that's on the outside of our arm right there? I'm going to come in and we're going to try to shave that down a little bit closer and get rid of that bump. Yeah, you see how right over here, um, well you can't see me pointing, but down on the screen there you saw that disappear and then right right here we're gonna have to remove some of that so I go back over here hold that button down you should see it disappear on that right side there we go probably took out a little bit too much so I'm gonna show you the back button see how that put it back so let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. So I got a little bit close. Let's try that. Okay, that's better. I like that. Um, right over here, I'm looking at my line, this yellow line right here. And I'm over here looking and seeing this. And, and this looks a little choppy, so I'm going to try to clean this up and take this part here out. Uh, so it's about right here, I believe. Let's try to clean that up a little better. Take some of these points out, make it a little bit smoother. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an, uh, on another video, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this image, but I'm going to put a, um, a glow on the outside of it. So I'm going to line the outside to soften the edges and then basically put a glow on those edges so that it's very soft and subtle. And, and uh, when you place that image over another image, you're going to lay, you know, you're layering that image. Uh, it's going to look real soft. It's going to have a glow to it. It's going to look cool. Okay, so now that we have our image, what we're going to do is we're going to take that image and we're going to save it to, um, I'm just going to save it to the desktop because I'm going to put it into another software that I'm going to show you on another video. But I need to save this image off to the right hand side. I need to save that to my desktop. So what you do is you go over here and you click that and that's going to download. You see that right down here in this left hand corner? It's downloaded. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, minimize my window make so it's a little bit smaller and then I can see my image right here and I'm just gonna left mouse click over and drag it to my desktop and there it is and this is what it's gonna look like there you go so I'll probably take this image and use it on like the left side of a photo because this is such a hard line right here um, but I'll put that glow around it like I was talking about um, but we'll, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So with that being said, that is uh, online.photoscissors.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps you out. Guys, if you like this stuff that I'm doing, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And then uh, if you like this video, um, give it a like. And let me know in the comments if it does help you out too. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.